Hi there, Robin here from RTS, and today you are looking at the ZLX 15BT. So congratulations, you're looking at a ZLX 15BT, and you're probably looking at it because you're interested in getting one, but you want to make sure it's the right one for you. Now, the nice thing about the ZLX series from Electro Voice is that acoustically it sounds like all their other models. So even if you spend three times as much acoustically, you're going to get the same speaker, which is really important because there's a reason why the ZLX as a family worldwide is the number one selling speaker. It's huge because it gets used as a main speaker like we have it here, but you can also use it as a stage monitor. And that's very important because that means acoustically it's going to sound the same, even if you've invested three times as much for your main speakers. How does it do all of that? It's the engineering and design that Electro Voice has put in behind this actual speaker. It's graduated from its original ZLX 15P into the BT model because now they do offer Bluetooth. Now it's a single speaker Bluetooth and you are gonna run an XLR cable to that second speaker. So let's take a closer look at how the backside works. So the ZLX, features a full DSP with a display module. Now the display module allows you to adjust your gain controls and your levels either manually straight here, which are very important because these are gonna allow you to set your maximum levels, but then allows you to adjust individual levels digitally. It also gives you options when you go into the menu to adjust the overall acoustics of the actual setting of the speakers from things like music, live speech, just to make it a little easier for you to adjust it to your sound and then positioning it. So again, is it close to the wall on a bracket? Is it on an actual setup as a monitor? Are we on a pole? That sort of thing. We can do all of that just by simply adjusting it in the system. Now there is subwoofer options, and of course they do give you crossover points and some models they recommend. Bass and treble control, this way we can fine tune the speaker to what we want. The mix out is based on the output here. Do I wanna actually have this as being both left and right, so a mixed stereo signal, or do I want to make it my right? And this is in conjunction with the Bluetooth function. Very important feature to actually offer on a speaker, allowing you to keep a stereo signal if that's what you choose. LED and display options there, recall, so you can have some presets in there. Streaming options to turn the Bluetooth on and off, so we can just have it set up in pairing mode, which allows us to go, or we can have it just on, your choice. Now again, these are all functions to make the speaker easier and more versatile for more people. So it's very possible that this is a great speaker for you. So the unit also has two input settings right off to the side here, which allow me for gain controls on both the combo jacks, which are gonna be either for TRS or XLR, because there is a three pin option built into this unit. The level controls will adjust the impedance from our line inputs, which is everything but a microphone, and then start offsetting the impedance for the microphone. So this way we can really dial up a microphone if we're gonna plug it in directly. So a quick overview to find out if it's the right speaker for you. So some of the biggest features are actually listed on the actual display sticker on it. What we're looking at is a thousand watts. Now I'm pretty sure that's gonna be peak. It does have a 15 inch woofer and a horn on top of it. The horn is special in this case because we don't actually have to change any configuration. We just set this up as a monitor and we can lay it across the front of the stage. No problem there. The maximum SPL range is 127. And that's telling me that this is normally gonna be, if you use it for a DJ purposes, you're gonna do it for a standard audience of 100 in the actual hall, 50 on the dance floor, tops with two of these and maybe you might want to get yourself a subwoofer now the bluetooth is special on it it's just standard setup it is uncompressed so if you're using it for backtracks perfect if you do need to run your equipment from one speaker to a second speaker and you're going to be using bluetooth you're definitely going to be running an xlr cable to the second speaker the reason why they do that is because if you have multiple speakers hooked up via bluetooth which is out there, the problem is you can't hook up a microphone to one speaker and have it come out of both. There'll be a delay and that's not gonna work for us. To guarantee that this can act also as an FRFR, which it does very well, which is a full frequency flat response speaker. So this way we can put whatever we want into it. The engineering of the box is dramatic. Everything from the actual notches that are built into it and the way the panel of the box is made from how the handles are molded into the actual unit. That goes all the way around to the third handle. And this allows for the box to have reinforcement to it without adding any extra weight. So those are all big positives for the actual speaker. Even the grill has been taken with a little extra. Thicker gauge than you might find on a lot of speakers in this price category. More importantly though, they also have the mesh 
basically adhered, glued to the backside of it. And this stops the actual metal from vibrating and creating any extra sound that you really wouldn't want to have. And that's all part of the speaker. Ease of use, ease of design is really what it's about. Uh, pick it up and go. It's not a crazy heavy speaker. It only weighs in at 38 pounds. So if you're looking at replacing some heavy wood boxes, but you still want good quality sound, at 38 pounds, because of the engineering of the overall speaker, definitely a great way to go. Uh, who would really want to use this? Again, like I said, DJs that are doing smaller weddings, 100 with 50 people on dance floor. If you're playing in a bar or pub, uh, that sort of thing uh, for a band, that's a good way to go as well. I wouldn't get into bigger venues where you maybe you have 150 people in a bar, that sort of thing. If it's a real close show where the audience is right there, a couple of these will do the job really well. And again, like I said, you can get this in a 12 inch model for monitors if you don't wanna just use your 15s as monitors as well. So those are all big positive things. Rehearsal space, if you have an electric drums kit and you need a speaker to play it through and you're looking for something good and reliable, plus you maybe want to play your back tracks through it as well, this is a good way. With the Bluetooth, so this way you can pair off to your phone, play the actual back track, and then play your drums on top of it. Again, for keyboards or any type of instrument like that, another nice way to go. If you just need a straight up PA system to address an audience, uh, maybe it's a safety meetings, maybe it's just an outdoor event. Remember, it's not rechargeable. You do need AC, but you set this up high on a tripod with your microphone, you can plug it right in the back. That being said, you can also, of course, plug this in through a mixer or a controller and take care of all of it that way as well. Again, the ElectroVoice ZLX 15BT. Those are just some of the good reasons why this speaker is still so popular. Well, I hope this video helped you out today in your buying decision. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Bye for now.